So let's move on to objective seven now. In objective seven, we're going to define what outsourcing is and discuss the reasons for its use. You will remember earlier in the lecture, I mentioned that one of the goals in value chain analysis was to sometimes identify the value chains of others that you could incorporate into your organization to give you a competitive advantage. So it might be the value chains of your suppliers or your distributors that give you a competitive advantage over your direct competitors. Outsourcing is the purchase of a value creating activity from an external provider. Very few organizations have all the resources and capabilities required to achieve a competitive superiority of, in their primary and supportive act, act, action, activities. Think about Apple. Apple outsources all its manufacturing and focuses only on the areas that it's good in. By forming and emphasizing fewer capabilities, a firm can concentrate on those areas in which it can create value and use specialty suppliers that can perform outsource capabilities more efficiently. The main reason for outsourcing is that few firms possess the resources and capabilities to achieve competitive superiority in all primary and support activities. When outsourcing a firm looks at where it can gain the greatest value from another firm. Preferably that firm has a core competency that it's in the primary or support activities that you can outsource to, that you can then use to give you a competitive advantage, your firm a competitive advantage. One of the benefits of outsourcing is you can access world-class capabilities and accelerate business re-engineering to the change in the way your organization operates. And the Phillips example, which um, is an interview for the, which you'll see in the next video, while it's quite dense and complex in the way that um, they talk about outsourcing and Phillips, it is really about taking particular parts of their business process outsourcing them so they can re-engineer what they're doing internally so that they can be competitive with other electronic manufacturers. Outsourcing can also provide the benefit of the business being able to focus on one area or a smaller number of areas and get rid of the areas that are absorbing management time that may not be, that may be more efficiently dealt with by other companies that can add value. Outsourcing it's not necessary to outsource an entire function. You can outsource parts of a function to achieve competitive advantage. And there is a risk if you outsource areas that are in fact areas within your value chain that are unique and give you a unique competitive advantage yourself. So you need to be careful not to outsource activities where you create and capture value better than your competitors, unless the outsourced organization does it even better. The capabilities that are critical to your success, you should not outsource things that may da damage the firm's integrated knowledge base, or in ways that unintentionally damage the firm's potential to continuously evaluate the assumptions and learn and create new capabilities and core competencies. Because even though if, if you do that, you run the risk of gaining a short-term competitive advantage but not have a sustainable competitive advantage because the things that add, you no longer have competencies that add value. One of the risks when we talk about outsourcing and partnerships um, has been American companies in particular complaining that when they operate, say, in China, they lose a significant proportion of their control of their intellectual property and ends up creating a competitor in the future. Clegg in 2005 did some research and indicated that outsourcing normally produces a 10% cost saving and an increase in similar increase in uh, service quality. But these were for single outsourcing decisions. 
when we look at cumulative outsourcing decisions, there it's not always clear that individual decisions lead to outsource, a combination of decisions to outsource, in fact, give you an overall competitive advantage in the long term. So it's got to be done carefully and in a controlled manner. And that's part of the Philips video you're going to watch is the amount of control, the amount of input, the amount of consideration they've given to their outsourcing decisions. One of the risks in outsourcing and one of the risks in all core competencies is that you don't use your core competencies because core competencies tend to improve over time. They tend to get better with additional use, particularly if they're largely knowledge based and core competencies that do those things shouldn't be outsourced, but can be the source of sustainable competitive advantage. The flip side to that, of course, is that sometimes the things you do well create rigidities and inertia, a single way of doing things and stifle innovation. You get this strategic myopia, this inflexibility of part of your organization and the firm's uh, manage, managers, and that leads you to having rigidity, which means you're not reinventing your value chain. Sometimes a quick way to reinvent your value chain is through outsourcing because you've fallen behind in the strategic capability. This is why we're seeing legacy car companies, existing car companies forming partnerships with technological and electric vehicle component manufacturers to try to leapfrog their lack of the core rigidities that they have within their manufacturing and their strategic uh, direction to address the competition, the competitive environment that Tesla and other electric vehicle manufacturers are creating. We can use core competencies. We can use a, an internal analysis to identify our strengths and weaknesses. And that leads us to being able to make clear strategic decisions based on our strategic intent, our strategic mission, um, which are formed from our analysis of the external environment and the internal environment.